and when she comes forward, she gets really good girl. Even though she's right here, I'm going to back her up. Because a lot of times they're like, oh, they're going to make me. Because I got my feet on. They're going to get upset if I don't get right on. I want to make sure she comes forward to pressure anytime she wants to smell the trailer. That's the rod. Okay, if she's looking at the barn, the rear end, run off side, that's well. So that's try. Back. So just the first few times, I let them and even encourage them to back up a little bit. Then they don't feel they get in trouble for backing up. Or have to hold the button they have to push it once. And I don't touch. So if she don't come with that, I'm going to run my hand down this. Push her off because she's not allowed to hang on that halter. So steady pressure, off to the side, release. Good girl. Not allowed to look behind her. Step, release. Good girl. Step, come off to the side, release. Again, I'm going to back her up. Because then I can get that one forward instead of her just going, I am not getting on. Good girl. And I am going to start using the whip as well. Step. Release. Good girl. So I'll go back and forth. That's always uh, between the whip and no whip. So when I use the whip, I want to put it on the wither and rubber first. Because she got all anxious the minute the whip was added. Okay, so I'm saying I'm going to use it, but I'm not going to whip you on that trailer when I tap and you take a step. Okay, so tap, you take a step, I release. I release the pressure. So it starts on the wither, step, louder with the whip, and release. So I go easy on the face, okay, easy, no harder than that. This mare was obviously afraid of the trailer, um, even if she wasn't hit or smacked with a broom or butt ropes, and I don't know what was done to get her load last time, but even so, just grabbing the horse's head at the wrong time or scaring them while they're in there, uh, closing the ramp too aggressively. Um, locking them up the minute they finally get on. All these things can make them apprehensive and nervous of getting on the trailer. Um, driving too fast, on the taking the corners too fast, braking too quickly. Again, I have no idea, but the horses don't lie. Um, if she didn't have an issue with it, she'd just walk right on, like my horses walk right on. 
and I heard that she wasn't a problem loader when she was purchased and now she's becoming one so incidents at the trailer can cause um, this aversion to getting on you know there's a reason she doesn't want to get on um, you know it's, it's it's not her fault um, but we can fix it having to work. Loose line. Right here, steady pressure. And I can release and pet her head. Steady pressure, release, good girl. Step, good girl, step. Again, I'm gonna add the whip. I'm gonna hold the steady pressure here. I'm gonna try. <coughs> When she pulls, you see I have contact, but it slides a little, but I'm not pulling hard. So I'm going to rub her first, and then tap her bottom. And release her. And rub her. Good girl. This is good. Step. Tap, tap, tap. And rub. Go on your knees. One hand up. So go right in ahead of her. Steady pressure, yep. Oh, sure. So you go underneath, one hand up, one hand down. Steady pressure. Steady pressure, hold, and don't release until she gives you a step. Hold steady. So the first time she walked right on don't for release. him, so I'm glad he's having to do Just a little keep work holding. here with his timing. Now as you're holding, pick up the whip, so don't release. And don't pull too tight. So rub her with her first. Hold, yeah. No, lightly and release. Now go underneath. Watch your whip. Watch your whip. Go underneath. Go underneath. Put your whip down as soon as you use it. See if you can do it without the whip. So get her. Don't don't go away from the trailer. Don't pull tight on her face. Loopy line. Loopy line. Steady pressure to pull. Straight and release. Straight. Jeremy, look at me. Up here, not down. Yes. That's it. Hold. Just keep holding. It's at that threshold where it's tricky for her. And release when she gives you a foot. Now back her up. Just back her up one step. Back. Side to side. Get louder with it till she backs. There. Now back her one more step. Back. 
Good. Now ask her to come forward. A straight line from your hand, not downward. Yes, that's it. Hold. Keep holding. Good. Don't forget to give her a release for a step. Now when you hold again, if she doesn't come forward, I want you to make her get off. Push her back without giving her a release. So hold steady pressure and keep it for 30 seconds. There, she gave you a little bit. Steady pressure, step. Now I want you to run your hand down that line and push her back, like I was doing. Push her back for muling out. No. S steady pressure and release. Pick up your whip and rub her first. So don't whip her. Rub that shoulder. Keep holding. Rub the shoulder. Rub it. Keep holding. There. And release. Now get under there. And don't pull her face. Good job. And then you get somewhere and they won't get back on the trailer. You know what I'm saying? Mm. If that'll make you feel comfortable. So right here I just set everything up. On her with her first step. So when I say step, she can avoid the tap. She's going forward, she's getting rubbed. You can let her think a minute. Then say step. Rub. I gotta feed that out so I don't pull her back. Rub. Good girl. Step. Rub. Good girl, you're fine. Step. Good. Good. Why don't you load her up and just take her? Me, drive her? Yeah. Steady pressure, not too tight, soft, yeah, release. One hand up, one hand down. So she loaded right up, we shut her up, we just Very drove good. her uh, right into the other driveway, and then he was able to load her And you don't never tie until that butt bar is up, so you'd so have somebody do the butt bar if you're not self-loading.